Humans are emotional creatures, especially women. So here are 10 things that women actually want. Number one, to be lied to. Women don't want the truth. True. If they did, they wouldn't ask stupid questions like, do I look fat in these pants? Or do you think my sister is prettier than me? Yeah, like, bro, I don't understand the questions that they be asking. Then when I be honest, I get smacked with a pillow or something, bro. It don't make sense. You ask me, your friend look better than you? And I say, yes. But you ask me, want me to lie to you? They literally say, do not lie to me. Now, when I start telling the truth, I'm the bad guy. Do you think my sister is prettier than me? Like, they, of course. Or she's prettier mostly because she's not fat you see every woman wants to be told they're right that's what the <laughs> phrase happy wife happy life means just tell your wife she's right even when she's wrong because to a what woman feelings equal fact if she feels like you're cheating on her because she had a dream about it then you're guilty until proven innocent you know, you know what them dreams be true they be getting like visions in their dreams and shit, bro I'd, i'll be scared as fuck, bro you might wake up one day the two uppercuts to your chin because she had a crazy dream then you're guilty until proven innocent they don't try to bring logic into this currently her whole Hormones are the ones in control, and they're the ones making the rules. True. Number two, make other bitches jealous. Nothing yes. makes a woman happier than making other bitches jealous. It's part of their core being. Bitch, you wish you had this purse. Bitch, you wish you had these legs. Bitch, you wish you had this health care. Even you are just an accessory <laughs> to show off at their friend's wedding. You see, women don't wear stuff to impress men. They wear it to impress other women. How true do y'all think that is? I'm telling y'all right now, it's very true. Anytime that you do anything with a woman, she's going to post it on social media. She's not posting it because she want to impress niggas. She posting it so the other bitches know that she doing something i promise you you are just an accessory to show off at their friend's wedding you see women don't wear stuff to impress men they wear it to impress other women no guy gives a shit about your eyebrows purse or thigh gap the only thing we care about is random blowies you could be wearing sweats with dorito stains no on it and a simple i'm on the pill is all we need to think you're a 10. number three <laughs> pretend they're a good person every woman is the hero of their own story I yes rescued this dog really you dove head first into a raging river to save little fido or you went to the pound to get a free dog I'm a hero. Okay, how about you rescue the three-legged pit bull with vengeance in his eyes? No. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't even like pit bulls, but if any dog is disabled, I'm not buying it. Like, I'm gonna let y'all know I'm not buying it. Why would I buy something that don't work? This is why I'm not making it to the pearly gates, bro. How about you rescue the three-legged pit bull with vengeance in his eyes? No? You're gonna go with the golden retriever instead? Which do you think needs the most help, Becky? Face it, women don't care about doing the right thing. They care about pretending to do the right thing for likes on the internet. You know, I have a friend that judged <laughs> me for getting a dog at a breeder, saying, why would you go to a breeder when there's so many in the kennels? I'm like, don't you have two kids why didn't you adopt hundreds of thousands of children in foster care but ew who wants those rejects right you're the one that keeps saying adopt not shop so why aren't you rescuing little orphan cleflet why did he make the baby look like that so y'all say that i mean animal ain't objects but like what what the fuck for resources women are attracted to resources that's why girls like rich guys so much because money gives them the resources to buy the useless they desire like a coach bag or self-esteem yeah i know a lot of guys are like but they didn't work for it what are you talking about of course they did you're gonna tell me taking an insulin shot before swallowing grandpa's salty balls isn't work don't be upset huh? they figured out a loophole of offering their hole number five pork in i know a lot wait what yo you think bitches be fucking to the top i don't even know why i asked that question of course they do bro i'm telling you i know so many women that f to get into the position they are now i love when women be like yo i hate men i can't do nothing with men then be fucking to get to the top like bro you need a man somehow some way in your life to get somewhere even with only fans girls yeah they making the money without a man but like their main supporters are men five porkin i know a lot of guys would disagree with me but women love porkin they're just picky which makes sense because <laughs> Was free. If it was free, you'd be turning it down for the dumbest reasons. What is that, a ham sandwich? Ugh, not hungry for you, Becky. But even though women love porkin, their brain does not. Oh. Time Magazine found that up to 80% of women fake having gasms. You know how stupid that sounds to a guy? Why would you fake the only reason you're doing it? That's like <laughs> playing a movie and walking out before the ending. Like, why would you turn it on if you're not gonna finish? And ladies... It's for man, it's you know, it's for male satisfaction, you know, male gratification. You know, they, you know, they don't even have sex for themselves. They really just have sex to appease men. And it sounds fucked up, but that's what I be hearing. You're not gonna finish. And ladies, don't blame guys. Trying to please a woman is like paying taxes. You could just tell me what needs to get done. Yet I'm the one that needs to figure it out. Like, bitch, I told you I'm bad at math. Just tell me how to solve your equation. You know, I'm starting to understand why women love dirty stuff. Because they hate seeing a man have a good time. Number six, treated like a princess. What? Think about the most important day in a woman's life. 
the day they get married, where they can live out their fantasy of blowing their life savings to take pictures in a castle. Weddings are the biggest scam ever. The cost of a wedding is out of this fucking world, bro. I, man, if there was a way for me not to get married, I promise you I would not get married. I literally do not want to get married. You see, what really turns a woman on is entitlement. Open the door, pay for my food, rub my feet, you peasant! Number seven, a baby. Having a baby is ultimately what every girl wants. Why figure out my purpose in life when I can just have one nut in me? I mean, who doesn't want a little mini me what? they can dress up and film content with? Mom, yes. I'm tired. You can get a break when you start acting surprised. Now stuff Fido back in the box and let's try this again. So guys, just remember, nothing Animal will cruelty. fuck up your life more than having a baby with the wrong girl. Did she take That's birth true. control or Skittles? Either way, strap your sh** before she queefs out a rainbow. Number eight, drama. What the Drama's fuck? like cliff diving for women. It gets their adrenaline pumping and makes them a little wet. Because drama's engaging and exciting. We've all heard the phrase, women hate nice guys. It's not that they hate nice guys. It's nice guys are boring. He's not lying at all, bro. When I was a nice guy, I got to ignore it. And it might be because I was fucking ugly, but like, that's besides the point. You give a woman everything she wants and you like treat her perfectly. Yeah, you're done. She don't get bored, bro. There's no challenge. Women like challenges, bro. I don't know what it is. They are like engineered in a very interesting way. Their life can be on easy mode. They will take extra steps to make it hard. You're boring. And no one wants a boring person in the bedroom. You want a freak in the sheets, not Pete in the back seat. That's why women love bad boys. Because they're cooking? filled with drama, which adds to the passion. Who wants three position vanilla when you can have every whole chocolate? Number nine, safety. Women. Was that like a BBC joke? Every whole chocolate? Is this like a black joke? Like my, my BBC going inside this character? Number nine, safety. Women just want to feel safe. Everywhere they walk, there's a battlefield of dicks just coming at them from all directions. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it sounds terrifying. Guys, imagine every girl was a bodybuilder on TRT. Oh my gosh. You know how unsettling it'd be to walk down the street at night knowing you're just one bear hug away from being completely incapacitated? You're so cute when you struggle. So guys, what? let's try to be a little more empathetic towards women, all right? Because yeah, it's way easier for them to get laid, but it's also way easier for them to get killed. I mean, if kidnapping was a sport, we would dominate the league. Jesus, it's like they're just giving out trophies. Number 10, told they're beautiful. Every woman, no matter how ugly, how hideous, how repulsive they are, wants to be told they're beautiful because compliments are like water to women and they're always thirsty for validation so even if your girl looks like a pregnant Is dolphin make sure to tell her she's gorgeous or you're never touching that blowhole again. The next video we got is, do I need plastic surgery or therapy? Do I need plastic surgery or therapy? Well, like mom to cougar, it's a real fine line. Because therapy can help you deal with unresolved childhood trauma, but it ain't fixing that pair of beak of a nose. And which would you rather? Oh. Cry when you see your uncle or cry every time you look in the mirror? The choice is clear. I'd rather cry when I see my uncle because I don't even see my uncle. I haven't saw my family in like two years. If I was to cry every time I get in the mirror, I'm not going to make it, bro. I might just blow my head off in GTA. Cry every time you look in the mirror. The choice is clear, two and Sam, it's time to get rid of that pelican beak. But surgery is expensive, and I don't have 10 grand. Listen, if you're hideous, you'll find a way. Which would you rather, a new iPhone or a hottie to bone? That's right, I'd rather be flicking her apps. What is the therapist huh? gonna do for me anyway? Teach me how to love myself? I don't wanna love myself. I wanna love hoes. That's the only yeah. happy ending I want, and a brand new face will help me do that. But plastic yeah. surgery is dangerous. Which one? What is plastic surgery? Are braces plastic surgery? Are you allowed to fix that overbite? Or are you stuck with a permanent meme face? Is LASIK plastic surgery? Bro, I was basically blind as a child. Without glasses, I couldn't see anything more than a foot in front of my face. Yo, One that's time I literally, walked on the beach for- That's literally what I see right now. I don't even look right with my glasses off anymore. Bro, I, I literally can't even read chat. Like, y'all can say I'm gay and I suck dick right now and I would not be able to see it. I walked on the beach for hours because I couldn't find my mom. I'm crazy dehydrated, barely comprehending reality when my mom finally says, Steve, why do you keep walking? I'm thinking, bitch, because I can't see shit. So when I turned 24, <laughs> I lasered the bullshit out of my eyes. Now I can see 2020. One of my homies was like, why would he pay for LASIK if you could just wear glasses? I'm like, dude, if you could pay four grand to quadruple your hearing, wouldn't you do it? Because that's basically what I did. I literally paid my way to a superpower. Oh, but eyes and teeth are more of a disability. What is a disability? You're going to tell me this girl wasn't born with a disability oh my okay. gosh what about now still not a disability oh my gosh she looks so much better yo surgery be saving people lives she still got a like a big ass nose but like yo if it's the same person she looks way better in the, on, in the second picture you're gonna tell me her life isn't gonna be way easier after shaving down that rhino horn or what if a guy's under 5'8 how is that not a disability you know how hard it's gonna be for him to find a girl he can go up on hope your knees are good because you're gonna <laughs> be playing volleyball with that <laughs> face it most people care about looks oh but every why don't you what? love themselves? Really? Why don't you tell that to the cancer victim trying to sharpie on new eyebrows? Stop trying to look like a hub, Miss Chemo. <laughs> 
just accept Yo. that you now look like a newborn baby. There's a lot of pedos out there. Maybe this will help your dating game. All you need to add is a lowercase t and start saying, will this help me get into heaven? I mean, obviously it won't because God hates you. Yo, I was not expecting him to go in on cancer patients like that. This nigga's crazy. If he loved you, he wouldn't be trying to kill you all the time. <sighs> Facts. Wake up, people. Looks are pretty important. How do you even meet people nowadays? <sighs> oh, that's right. The apps. Where you have a millisecond to prove that you're an eight or above. She's not reading your bio of, Recently, I realized I have unresolved childhood trauma and I've been working on it. Not every day is great, but that's the worst bio ever. Mental health and those around me. Nope. I'm not reading that either. Split second decision of weak chin. Speaking of chins, Damn. what is happening to Zac Efron's face? The dude went from sex icon to Minecraft Steve. When asked if he got plastic <laughs> surgery, he's like, nah, my new draw is from an injury. <laughs> Like, he just walked into a door and turned into human Shrek. I don't understand why they don't just admit it. Are you worried movie studios will what think you're a bad fuck? role model? Because I'd argue admitting you effed up your face trying to achieve an unrealistic level of beauty would show you're a great role model. Hey, everyone. You know what's crazy? He already looked good. So why would he get plastic surgery? I ain't gonna lie. If he did that, that's kind of stupid. Like, you were already a fucking gorgeous looking man, but you get a plastic surgery. That's what happens when you, like, are, are beautiful at a young age, and then you grow up and you start aging. You try to keep that look, bro. No. You look perfectly fine. You're Zac Efron. We knew what you were. Hey, everyone. My new preferred pronoun is consequences. You see, that's the real issue with plastic surgery. It can make you look so good and so fuck? bad. We all saw that beauty job from before. Now let's look at a hack job. <laughs> this little oh. piggy chose the wrong. Oh my God. Yo, she got scammed. She got scammed. She got scammed. If it was a drunk night and you walked up to me, I'd probably entertain you. But this right here, I ain't gonna lie. You giving me nightmares, bitch. Because anytime you go through surgery, it's gonna be a gamble. Now you could stack the odds in your favor and do something like LASIK with a ridiculously high success rate, or you can start rolling the dice on that new Minecraft mod. God, I want to chop so much wood with you. <laughs> Speaking of chopping wood, what? trans, you're gonna tell me there's something wrong with changing the way you look on the outside to represent how you feel on the inside? Hmm? Why be a sleep when I could be awake. So can we admit this isn't some black and white of plastic surgery bad, therapy good? Because maybe you're one cucumber slice away from being happy. Isn't that why you're getting plastic surgery? To try to make your sad brain happy? But have you ever asked yourself, at what point will you be enough? Because imagine thinking one surgery will fix me. And it doesn't. All True. it does is make you see more imperfections, more things you need to fix, more pain. Ugh, I just That's why you need to just be happy with the way you look, bro. Like, he not lying. Even though he said some crazy stuff in this video, some of the stuff he said is real. If you are constantly trying to make yourself look better, you're never going to be happy with the way you look. At some point in time, you're just going to have to accept that you are perfect in the way that God made you. The sadness in my brain to go away. Cut me up, Doc. Fix me. Hey, easy, easy. It's okay. Remember, you're not alone. All right? I'm here to help you. Now, stay still. I had a lot of caffeine this morning and my hands are a little shaky. How I got my first baddie. Cute girls were the only thing on my mind as a teenager. I tried to focus on school, but once puberty hit, it was game over for my rational thoughts. The only physics I cared about were the bouncing of Stacy's fun bags. So during my senior year of high school, I was determined to get some. I didn't even care what it was. First base, second base, chest bump in the dugout. Anything was better than nothing. But walking up to girls and raw dogging a convo was scary. Every time I was about to, my brain would just turn into a pothead seeing a cop like, What are you doing? Bam! Bail! Bail! Plus, I wasn't <laughs> born with godlike genetics. I was just a typical six and a half inch scrawny pasty white boy. Six and a half inch? Hey, you're doing better than most, my king. You're doing better than most. So I knew if I wanted a shot with any number above a five, I'd have to improve my appearance. So I switched out my glasses for contacts, started working out, and wore enough Axe body spray to kill most small animals. The only thing I refused wow. to compromise on was my khakis. Super comfy and six pockets? They're the perfect pants. Yeah, I get women are disgusted by them, but maybe if they got to know me, they'd see I'm really a genie. Uh, I could go for some McDonald's right now. Your wish is my command. My next step was to draw <laughs> attention to myself. I'm like, oh, I'll just get highlights in my hair and I'll try out for the school play. And to my surprise, it worked, but for the wrong gender. Guys started hitting on me, which was... Oh, wow. See, that's how I know you look good, man. You look great, bro. You know you look attractive when you can attract both genders. You know what I'm saying? Not to toot my own horn or nothing, but like er everybody likes me. You know what I'm saying? Boys, girls, trans, femboys, boys, whatever in the book, they all love me and it it's okay. Not everybody looks as good as me. Guys started hitting on me, which was flattering, but so annoying because most of them didn't take no for an answer. One time a dude spit game at me and I immediately shut it down. I said, hey man, I'm flattered, but I don't play for your team. And he says, well, 
Have you ever tried it? I'm like, dude, that's not something you just try. I'm never home <laughs> alone True. looking at my TV remote like, hmm, then walking to school the next day like a happy ballerina. Anyway, clearly my strats Wait, weren't working, but that's not how that works. it was a strong motivator, so I wasn't giving up. My next best shot was during our senior class trip to Disney. That's right, for my senior class trip, we went to Disney World. Can you tell I went to an all-white high school? Wait, 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 wait. What? the hell is this? Who needs diversity when you have Space Mountain? They're both dark, make you scream, and end up taking your wallet, but I'd pay to go back to space. Does that joke make sense? Not really, but sounds offensive. It's crazy. That's kind of what I'm going for. Anyway, the trip was three days, crazy and on day one, my friend Kristen was sending me hard vibes. At first, I thought she was just being friendly, but it became clear she was digging me. Now, prior to this, I just viewed her as a friend, meaning I didn't find her banging. Don't get me wrong, she was cute, but if she was nine or ten, floaties or not, I'd be diving headfirst into that poon. So I kind of just pretended I didn't know what she was Doing, <laughs> she began to get more direct. I've that done that before. We riding the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and she starts rubbing my leg. My Johnson screaming, Let me out of here! I'm like, Jesus, am I about to get a handy at Disney? This pirate ride is about to be rated R. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> you I'm were so some. tired. Well, luckily things didn't escalate because apparently there's a bunch of night vision cameras all around the ride. Could you imagine the ride shuts down, lights turn on as an overhead announcement says, Ma'am, please remove your hand from his peg leg. Fast forward to later that- I don't think they would have said that, bro. I think they would let you slide. I never got a hand job on a boat before, but it seems like a fun time. Who am I to judge? Fast forward to later that evening and I'm back in the hotel room chilling with homies. They're like, bro, you trying to smash? I'm like, I don't know. I love Kristen as a friend, but I don't know if I feel the same way. Then my buddy Sean is like, why don't you just be friends with Benefit? Which at the time seemed like a great idea, not realizing friends with benefits never works. One never. or both people end up developing feelings, and your relationship will eventually crumble faster than Jonathan Major's career. But being a dumb Damn. kid, I'm like, I can make it work. Generations Damn, of men. I'm sorry for pausing. He was gonna be one of my favorite actors. Creed, Ant Man, Kang, all that over a white bitch. You know what I'm saying? You was doing so well for yourself, King. That's why black and white shouldn't mix. Segregation. I'm obviously joking. Being a dumb kid, I'm like, I can make it work. Generations of men have tried and failed, but my 17-year-old brain had it all figured out. So the next day I meet up with Kristen and immediately felt conflicted. Because part of me was like, I really don't want to ruin our friendship. And the other part of me wanted to get my beak wet. My balls were dry for 17 years and I just wanted some dome. You could argue I didn't know what I was missing, but w. I heard good things. The reviews for blowies are in and it's overwhelmingly positive. So like an absolute bitch, I just kept changing my mind. Constantly going from hot to cold until later that evening when we were standing in line for the teacups. I don't know what it was, but when I looked at Kristen, I just thought, hey, why not? She's cute, funny, has a nice pair of fun bags. I think we'd have a great time <laughs> together. Friends with benefits would be cool, but you know what? I think dating sounds even better. Oh, That's when my brain activated cringe mode. Because instead of just asking her out or leaning in for a kiss, I said, Oh, Kristen, I forgot. I got you a gift. And it's in my mouth. Then painfully walked forward to kiss her. Not lean in. Oh. I was at least three steps away. Letting the cringe really set in before locking lips with her. And since I never kissed... Did she kiss you? Did she kiss you back at least? Because, like, it might have been horrible, but you, you can come back from this one. You can come back for this so far. I was at least three steps away. Letting the cringe really set in before locking lips with her. And since I never kissed before, I had no idea what I was doing. I just started throwing my tongue around like a quadriplegic trying to break dance. Also, keep in mind, oh we're my still gosh. standing in line for the teacups. So after a few seconds of tonsil hockey, a disgusted mother taps me on the shoulder telling me the line is moving. And this happened multiple times. Each time she just looked more and more appalled. But I well, didn't care. Kissing? To go from never kissing to kissing was incredible. It's like my happiness quotient turned to a new level of Super Saiyan. Like, I didn't know there was a level beyond. Unfortunately, <laughs> my dumb male brain decided to ruin the moment. You see, guys are compelled to do certain things. We all clean dirty toilets with our pee, we all smell our hand after scratching our balls, yeah. and we all go top speed on the teacups. So once we got on the ride, my <laughs> homies and I were spinning the heck out of it. Not thinking True. Of any I don't know what it is. I'm addicted to, like, feeling dizzy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I would do this shit for hours. Yeah, I might be autistic. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm not beating allegations. I might be autistic. Spinning the heck out of it. Not thinking of any possible consequences. Once it was over, gonna throw up on you. felt crazy nauseous. Luckily, everyone was able to hold it down. Well, everyone except for Kristen, who decided to paint the sidewalk yeah. with a dinnertime turkey. That probably killed the mood, right? Nope. Horned up me, went right back to making out oh! 30 minutes later. Mm. I could still taste that gravy. Eventually, I was able to ride her splash mountain, but unfortunately, there was a lot of dead fish in the river if you catch my drift. So what? Her pussy stink. <laughs> you got stink pussy. <laughs> to ride her splash mountain, but unfortunately, there was a lot of dead fish in a river if you catch my drift. So whatever happened between me and Kristen, well, I ended up breaking up with her six months later. Now, all breakups are tough, but it went as well as you could hope, because I left her for someone hotter who had a lot less seafood on her menu.